Hey everybody, it's Mr. Game Show with your play break for Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. Today's game, Trivia Tuesday. And the topic, tuning in. With our special guest host, please welcome Jay Johnson and Bob. Thanks, Chris. This is Jay Johnson, and I'm glad to be with you. Um, uh, over there in the corner is my friend Bob. Hey, Bob. Hey, Jay. What you doing? I'm doing some work, Bob. Uh, just wanted to say hi. Hi to you. Hey, hey, can I can I help you do some work, Jay? Well, I'm just going to ask some trivia questions, Bob. It's really kind of a one-man uh, job. <laughs> your, your, your whole career is a one-man job. Okay. You want to help, uh-huh? I, uh, I, I tell you what, it's a multiple choice, so I'll read the question. You read the possible answers, okay, Bob? Okay, I think I can do this. Good. All right, here it is. You ready for the first question? I am ready, sir. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Uh, first question for 10 points. 10 points. You don't have to do that, Bob. I, I might do. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, Tom Kenny, the voice of SpongeBob SquarePants, also voices which of the other characters on the show? Bob? No, he, he doesn't do that character. He is, no, no, Bob, read him. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, does Tom Kenny also do Patrick? Patrick. Gary? Gary. Or Squidward? Squidward. All right, let's give him a chance to think. Yes, a little t a chance to think here. Yeah, a little thinking is it coming in up here. Isn't that a nice... That's a... Very odd tune, Jay. It doesn't matter. It's just for them to think. Yeah, they, it shouldn't be. So, okay, that's it. Okay, they're done. They're done. All right, fine. Um, so, yes. Ready for the answer? I am. Uh, his voice may not be as recognizable for this character, but he, Tom Kinney, Tom Kinney, also voices SpongeBob's pet snail, Gary. Gary is the correct answer. And if you got that, you got ten points. Correct. Correct. Question two, Bob. Question two, Jay. Question two for 20 points. 20 points. There you go again. Yeah, all right. Okay, Bob. Uh, which famous radio personality was the original voice of Shaggy in the Scooby-Doo series? Okay. Was that voice Rick Dees? Rick Dees. Casey Kasem? Casey Kasem. Or Wolfman Jack? Or Wolfman Jack. All right. Yeah, let's see what happens here. A little time to think about it, yeah. So, who was it? Was it Rick Dees, Casey Kasem, or Wolfman Jack, who did the original voice of, of Shaggy in the Scooby-Doo series? Okay, I think that's enough time for them. You think so? Sure. Okay, enough time. So, so the answer is Mr. Top 40 himself, Casey Kasem. Casey Kasem! Hi. Kids, I got this letter from a little boy in South Dakota who thought, okay, Jay, that's just, just don't do it. Just don't. Okay, sorry. Uh, all right, Bob, are we ready for question three? Question three. For 30 points. 30 points. Okay, see, Bob, if you got the first one right, you got 10 points, yeah? Second right, you got 20 points, yeah? That means you have 30 already. Uh-huh. Third one is worth 30 points. 30 points. And so you would double your score with this one, okay? Okay. Okay. What 1960s sitcom actor provided the voice for the title character in the animated series Inspector Gadget? Yes. Was that Bob Denver, Don Adams, or Jerry Van Dyke? Dee 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 dee. Bob, you can't, you can't sing that song. What? Don't sing that song. Why not? Because that's the Jeopardy song. It is? Yes. They own that song. They own the song. Yeah, if you sing it, then, then they get paid. They get paid? Yes. For singing the song? For even humming the song. Wow. <laughs> That's a good gig. I'd like to get... Okay, okay. Time is up. Time is up. All right. So here it is. What actor, after a sitcom, played the voice or gave the voice to Inspector Gadget? And that was... Don Adams! Don Adams. Would you believe Don Adams? I would. Okay. So if you got that one, you got uh, 30 more points. Question four? Question four? Okay. It's our last one, Bob. Okay. And it is worth 40 points. 40 points. That's right. So if you got all three and you're waiting on this one, you, you could now, uh, with this one, you, you could win 100 points altogether. Altogether. Okay. So here's the question. Which Simpsons voice actor recently decided to stop performing the voice of the convenience store owner, Apu? Okay. Well, is that Harry Shiro, Hank Azaria, or Dan Castellaneta? Uh, Apu. 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 Oh. What is that, Bob? That's a song I just made up and hope somebody will sing it and give me some cash. Okay, okay, doesn't matter. 
Are you ready? Ready? Okay, time's up. Uh, although he's still on the show, Hank Azaria. Hank Azaria! I felt like the character was not uh, going as he wanted. It was being a little misrepresented. So he stopped doing a pool. No more. No more. So, so that's our, uh, if you scored that one, if you got that one, you got 40 points. Uh, total up your score and be honest. Yes. And um, I hope you win. Bob, say good night to everyone. Good night, good day. Good uh, social distancing and self isolations. Thank you, Bob. So how did you do today? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button. And be sure to come back every weekday for more fun and games right here on Playbreak.